Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This will be a part two of my Sheen haul. So if you did not watch the first, go ahead and watch it. I'm going to link it down below. And if this is your first time, hi, my name is Mary Lou Safford and this is the Beauty Sun channel. Thank you guys for joining and I really hope you guys enjoy this part two. So let's get going. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you as promised I am going to show you the shoes I bought from Shein. The first shoe is called the Minimalist Open Shoe Sandal, which I got for $11.39, which is after the promo code. They have different codes, okay, by the way. Uh, I got a size 39, which is about a size 8, US 8. Uh, these are so pretty. Um, Totally my vibe. My sister said they kind of look like her curtains, but... She's a little hater. <laughs> She's right here, by the way. Uh, these are so cute, very light. They feel very inexpensive, but they're very cute. So these are definitely a vibe. Okay, the next shoe is the uh, Twist Chain Strap Slippers, which are originally $13. Um, right off the bat, I do wanna say I hate these shoes. I bought four pair of shoes and out of four, I these are like my least favorite. I also bought them in a size 39 and they did not fit my size 8 foot. Also, I do want to say I have a wide foot, okay? Uh, these are the shoes. They are very plastic, rubbery. They smell very much like rubber. Uh, they are very nice, but once again, my wide foot did not fit in these shoes. These are... There goes a the car. It's okay. It's okay. Let's keep rolling. Um, yeah. Yeah. These aren't it for me. They're nice though, but not for me. Let's go on to the next. Okay, you guys, the second shoe I do want to say I love. The material, it's actually good material. These look like scrunchies, which I think it's cute. Um, the size is 39, which is a size US 8, and they fit perfectly. They are comfortable. Of course, I don't recommend you walk in them all day um i do want to say i forgot the name but i will definitely link that in the description box so make sure you look for that these are really cute definitely recommend and i think i paid 13 dollars, but just check the link out okay you guys i do want to give you guys a quick disclaimer i don't know what happened to the email where i purchased some of these items so i am going to put them on the description on the bottom you know just go check. Anywho, the next shoe I did purchase and I already wore are these cute denim with um, pearls. These are such a freaking vibe. These were so pretty. I am so in love with them. As you can tell, I already used them. And I ripped the, I guess it was like a cover. I don't know what it was. But these are so cute. I wish my feet were cute enough to show you how they looked on me. But um, these are so pretty. Also size 8. Which 39. It's a size 39 for them. These are so cute. And I think these were over $20. Which I feel it was kind of expensive for being sheen. But great quality. Definitely recommend. So. We have one more pair to show, so let's do that so we can go ahead and do the clothes. Okay, for the last pair, I kind of am obsessed with pearls, if you didn't know. Um, this is the next pair. These pairs of sandals are so cute. Also, I love a sandal, okay? Uh, these sandals are so pretty. The material is good. Uh, also a size 39, which is a size US 8. These do run a little bigger. So if you're like an eight and a half or possibly a nine, you can still fit into these because they're pretty wide. The plastic is pretty wide. These are so, so, so pretty. Uh, also, th these were more than $20, I believe. Definitely recommend. I actually just wore them to Vegas. So yeah, that concludes my shoe haul i hope you guys really like them so now let's go to the clothing okay so the first piece of clothing i'm going to talk about is actually my favorite from this bunch it is the plus solid crop 
tank top and tie front skirt so this is actually a two-piece which I loved I actually ordered after I tried this on I actually ordered a different color this is the cut in the color tank I did purchase in the size 3x so this is the skirt and as you can tell it has a tie in the front it's like a pencil skirt it's really really cute it's like I said a khaki color and the top I just dropped it this is a tank like a tank top I will be showing you in a minute how I paired with and just stay tuned okay, the next thing I also purchased was a plus drop shoulder long long line blouse Excuse my reading. Uh, this blouse is so cute. You can wear it in different ways. You can either wear it with a tank top underneath, with some denim jeans, or whatever you like. I personally, personally like it as a cover up. Um, soon I will show you how I'm going to pair it with the previous outfit I just showed you. This is so cute. Definitely like. And I also purchased it in the size 4x. Um, if you are a 3x definitely recommend you go a size up on this because it does not stretch okay and if you want it to look flowy you definitely go a, a size bigger um, I would post I'm going to post how much I pay for it in the name also if you want a link you can go on the description box and yeah so let's go on to the next item okay so here's outfit number one I do want to say uh, I really like the tie in the front like I mentioned earlier uh, this is really cute definitely recommend and I got this one actually in sale on sale uh, this is the color khaki like I mentioned before and I did purchase this in the size 3x it is so cute definitely recommend uh, I like that this kind of hides whatever is going on right here I am so obsessed and I'm actually showing you my arms just so you guys can see how the actual outfit looks however I am going to pair it with this cute blouse that I showed you guys previously previously right or if not you'll see it in a minute uh this is such a vibe so we're gonna go ahead and try this on with that Look at that. This is definitely a vibe. I really liked it. Also, um, the shoes. I, I'm i going to pair with these shoes. So I literally got a whole outfit machine for under maybe $50. Yeah, definitely. Look. It's so cute. What do you girls think? Okay, so on to the next. Okay, the next item is plus Ditsy Floral Split Hemp Skirt, which is $15 I did purchase this in a size 4x and it's such a pretty skirt but it does not give you any room it doesn't stretch if you are like me like what, what is it apple form yeah uh, this is not flattering for me it does fits me but it is very restricted I'm going to show you in a minute it's such a pretty skirt it has some hemming on the side and a nice little split the material is just like any sheen material it does have a zipper which I don't use I just throw it on top so this is really pretty okay the next thing is going to be this cute white top which is called a plus solid not detail top I am so over these freaking titles and names but this one was $13 and I did purchase I did purchase a size 4x it's just a regular top which I'm going to show you how I pair it with I actually purchased this for two skirts the one I just showed you 
and the other one that I'm going to show you next. But it's cute, cute tie. It's very see-through. I do want to say it's very see-through. The material, maybe you can possibly wear it a couple of times. Uh, very delicate, I do want to say that, okay? So, yep, let's go on to the next. Okay, the next one is the Plus uh, Sheen Sexy Plus Split. Uh, just, just that. Here it is. It's a regular pencil skirt. I am in love with the color. I did decide to go, I think it's a 3X. I purchased it in a 3X. It does come with a cute slit on the side. Once again, if you are self-conscious about your stomach, I don't recommend it. But if you're someone like me who's trying to get out of their comfort zone, you want to get it, girl. Pretty, very stretchable. The material, it's pretty thick. It's pretty thick or not. Not really. It's, it's not that bad. Definitely my vibe. I am in love with this skirt. Doesn't fit how I would want it to fit, but it's okay. We'll work with it. So, let's go on to the next. Okay, I feel like I had to move the camera so you guys can get a better look on the bottom portion of this outfit. Uh, this is the skirt. Like I said, it does have a slit. And uh, so far, so good. I am wearing Spanx underneath. Just so you guys know, this is such a cute outfit to go wine tasting, go to the beach, go to wherever, wherever you want to go, relax, but same, at the same time, chic. This is it. This is definitely it. I'm loving the top. I'm loving the skirt. I do want to say both materials are very thin, so shop at your own risk, okay? Go. On to the next. Okay, the next outfit is actually the same shirt with the different skirt, like I mentioned before. Uh, this is a very form fitting skirt, it's very stretchy. But if you're self conscious about your stomach, I kind of would stay away. Okay, so it does have a slit. I feel it's very sexy. Um, if you're not comfortable showing your stomach, you can actually wear a an outfit that I'm mean, sorry, a, a top that's more looser on the top. On the top, uh, you can possibly wear it with a tank top and th throw something like this on top. You know, um, totally up to you. Uh, I don't know if I would wear it like this. I still have to kind of think. Of what do you guys think about this skirt? It does have slits on each side. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. So let's go on to the next. Yeah. Okay, the next thing I did purchase was this solid to dress from Sheen, of course. And I did purchase it in a size 3X. This is the color brown. I feel it's so sexy, especially if you pair it with a denim jacket or you can even dress it up with a blazer. Or uh, I have a cute, kind of like a cardigan sweater or uh, a jacket. And I think I'm gonna pair it with some high knee boots. I have some really cute ones, some nude ones. I wish I can show you, but honestly, this angle is not gonna work. But I like this dress so much, I went ahead and purchased a nude one. So if you do want a part three, let me know. I can definitely do that. I have a few more things in route. So yeah, this was, this is very stretchy. Very stretchy, uh, form fitting, of course. Uh, yeah, it's just a basic cute dress. So yeah, so I think that's it when it comes to clothing. Oh no, I have a bathing suit for you girls. A bathing suit. Not a one piece, not a two piece, but a three piece, so wait. I do wanna apologize about my hair. I honestly did not feel like doing my hair, but it's starting to puff up a little bit, but never mind that. I do wanna say the next dress, it is the tube dress. 
This jacket is from Miss Lola. I bought it last year, actually, it's never worn. Still has a tag. Um, this is exactly what I pictured I would be wearing it with. Um, I also bought an, uh, another one in the color nude, I believe, that would go ex very well with this. But I definitely like it. Uh, of course, it's gonna it's gonna really accentuate my stomach, but me not wearing a strapless bra, ha! It's okay. I don't take off my jackets. Uh, and if I do, I do have uh, strapless bras, but once again, I was a little lazy to look for it. So, here it is. I really, really, really like this. Um, I need to, I should have just put on my strapless bra. But this is fine. You can wear it with some boots, with some tennis shoes. Dress it up or dress it down. Definitely up to you. Uh, this is very much fall vibes for me, so this is really cute. Okay, you guys, so I am going to show you how this bathing suit looks like. I do want to say I'm not going to show the bottom portion simply because I don't want my video flagged down for inappropriate, uh, I guess, showing too much. Um... But yeah, I am going to show you the top portion, and I do want to say that I really like this bathing suit. Definitely, really, really like it. So, girls, I do want to say I am wearing white underwear or nude underwear underneath. So, it's like a grandma underwear. Don't judge. Um, I didn't even bother putting the, the bottom piece because I do not want to show you girls my goodies so this is so cute um i'm definitely gonna wear this this if this isn't stepping out of my comfort zone i don't know what is this is it girls this is your sign go get this i'm going to post the description down below go get it it was only a couple dollars Who said big girls can't wear a three-piece? <laughs> love it. Love it. Did you guys recognize this outfit? I love it. A couple people did comment on the previous video about this outfit. They actually liked it, and I loved it as well. Uh... If you guys didn't watch the video, go ahead and watch it. Yeah, I'll link it down below. I do want to say the next thing I'm going to show you are a couple things, just random things I bought as a makeup artist. I am a makeup artist, by the way. I am self-taught. I've been doing makeup for about 10 years now. Whew! A little short breath. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these cute mesh makeup bags. Uh... I don't recall exactly what the price, but I will definitely link these below. And if not, I'll just post the, the price somewhere down here. These are so cute. These are perfect for any foundations you want to put in here. Anything that you want to use that it's breathable. This is definitely it. You can put in your beauty blenders if you have a lot of beauty blenders like myself. Uh, you can put them in here so they won't you know so they can dry up but this is a cute bag definitely recommend or if you're going out of town for traveling this is a cute tote bag to put in all your makeup definitely recommend does not feel cheap hmm. all right so the next thing are these i think it's a set of three small makeup bags i honestly purchased them a couple maybe a month ago and like i said me being loud uh me look isn't this so cute? This is perfect for beauty blenders, like on the go. Like for instance, if you are traveling somewhere and after you use your makeup, your beauty blender, don't don't put it inside your makeup bag just like that because you it might get dirty or whatnot. You want to put it in a mesh bag or a, or a Ziploc bag. But this is perfect because your 
your beauty blender will breathe. You want your beauty blender to breathe because if you don't, it creates bacteria and whatnot and we don't want that. We don't do that here. We don't need that. So this is a small bag, perfect for beauty blenders. This is a bigger bag. These bags are so handy. They all have zippers. I'm not gonna open them because I, I refuse to make more noise than I already have in the background, okay? Okay, well let me just open one, I guess. I'm definitely going to, uh, Oh, this is actually a great material. I will uh, put the price somewhere over here on the screen. This is perfect for foundations. You see on the go. This is perfect, especially for makeup artists who who need uh, eyes to see where their products are at. This is perfect if you're going to the beach, if you're going on a cruise, girl, when you're going to Mexico, when you're going on a trip, we're... this is cute. Definitely recommend, so it's a pack of three. There you go. The next thing is this cute little, kind of like a, I don't even know what is this, like an artist personal palette. It's just a cute little palette. Uh, so you can clearly use it for foundations, concealers, powders, whatever you want. This is perfect, a mixing tray. It's totally up to you. And it does come with a cute little spatula. Wow, that's so cute. Comes with a spatula. Here is the palette. Of course, you have to remove the little veil. Wow, definitely caught me off guard. I like this. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to show you in this haul is hair clips. Who doesn't need hair clips? These are hair clips that you buy. If you're, if you're a hair uh, uh, hairstylist, whatever, uh, even a makeup artist can actually use this to hold back hair when you're doing people's makeup. Or if you just want to purchase some of these in general, these were actually very inexpensive. Uh, they don't look cheap, to be quite honest. Um, how many come in a pack? Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten, uh, eleven or twelve. I could be, I could be wrong. And these are one size, of course, hair clips. I always lose them. I don't know what happens to them. They literally grow legs and walk away. Okay, ladies, that is it for my part two of my Sheen haul. If you really like these type of videos, make sure you comment down below, like this video share it to your friend uh and don't forget to subscribe because we need to make this a bigger family we just have to us girls have to stick together also um if you guys want a part three make sure you guys comment down below please let me know a girl can definitely do that because i do tend to shop a lot i i one of my biggest regrets not doing these hauls before because i tend to shop a lot those who know know Anywho, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this video, for giving me all the love on my previous video. And if you did not watch the previous video, I'm going to go ahead and link that one down below as well. Check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stunt and slate. Bye.